Hey, Taurus, welcome to your general love read. All right, today we are going to look at the overview, the past, the current energy, future possibilities, get some advice moving forward. Okay, we're going to see what is going on in your world. However, it is timeless. So whenever you come to this, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. All right, if you are new, I am an intuitive. I am a shamanic practitioner. Much of what you see here on the channel will not be traditional. Just take it as it resonates for you. Leave the rest. Roles can be reversed. Okay, could be third party energy. If you are watching this and you would like to learn more about what I do, go to the Facebook Awakening Transcendence. Okay, Awaken Transcendence is my group. Um, go look up Awaken Transcendence and join. All right, that's for those of you returning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, beautiful. I'm glad you're here. So for the collective, okay, you are very tapped in spiritually this week, okay? And even showing up here, Taurus, okay, you're open, receptive, receiving. You are probably getting a lot of messages this week, a lot of synchronicities, okay? So let's see what else is going on here. Okay, the overview. Ooh. The past. Thank you. Current energies. future possibilities. Okay. So overview energy. Okay. You're holding back right now because someone's hurt you. Four of pentacles, nine of swords, the wheel. Okay. The wheel is turning, but all right. I really feel like spirit is saying, let's not repeat this cycle. Let's not pull this negative energy forward with us. But I feel like you're really struggling through whatever this hurt was. Okay, you may have not really opened up to many people about it. But you can see there is a little bit of hope there. Okay, there is a little bit of light coming through. This is going to lighten up. In the past, Page of Pentacles, all right? You could have started something new. For some of you, this could have even been a new career, a new job. It doesn't have to be love. But um, for those of you that started something new in love, I almost feel like someone didn't really put their all into it someone held back. Now the current energies, okay, we get the three of cups and it was hard to tell which way spirit really wanted it because it kept spinning. Um, somebody may be coming in that's going to make your head spin. All right. Future possibilities. Your guard's going to come down a little bit, but nine of wands, you're still very protective. All right. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look. Okay, let's get some clarity here. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. Okay. Six of Pentacles in reverse. What did I say, right? I feel like somebody was not giving their all. And um, take, take, take. And you were very generous and now you've closed off. Some of you may have actually loaned someone some money that they did not pay back. And now you are very closed off to this energy. Yeah, okay. Five of pentacles in reverse. And you can see the deck is not in reverse. Um, it could be because this is my church window that you're ending a very serious commitment here. Okay. Um, 
but there is hope on the other side of all of this. Let's see which way the wheel is spinning here for you. Okay. Five of Swords. You feel defeated. But these were only lessons. Okay. This was just lessons. Okay. Tell me about Page of Pentacles here. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Okay. Someone really worked you over. Someone really knocked you down and didn't give a lot in return. <laughs> no wonder you're so guarded, okay? But you really love this person hard. Ten of Cups. Okay, you gave it your all. You tend to see the best in others, the hermit and the empress, and you care give and you nurture. Okay, even when you are sensing that there's nothing there for you, I feel like you do really just keep trying, especially with family. Okay, I feel like you just keep trying and trying and trying. And for some of you, that family could be, right? A work, a place, a job, right? Oftentimes, <coughs> someone needs to hear this. Okay, I get that little asthma when someone really needs to hear something. Sometimes our work family becomes our family family, okay? So, Three of Cups <laughs> crossed by the Three of Swords. All right, you're dealing with this heartache. And something's going to come in and make your head spin a little bit. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, okay. It's almost as if you, I mean, you really don't see it coming. The tower in reverse. The tower in the upright in this one really reminds me of, right, like a chess piece. But we've got it in reverse here. So it's like you don't even see like somebody's moved into place. You don't even see it coming. Yeah, strength in reverse. Okay, you are so emotionally in your head that that's why it knocks you on your feet and takes your breath away and spins your head. Like it's not something expected. Nine of Wands in the future here. Yeah, okay. It's going to bring back stability, but it's going to take a lot of work on your part to get there. Okay. But I feel like you're pulling from different areas to reclaim your stability here. King of Wands. Someone's going to step up. And I feel like, okay, take notice. Leadership here really help you get ahead. Five of Cups. But you've got to turn away from all of those emotions. If you're going to turn and look at this person and glean from this, right? Yeah, we've got the Three of Pentacles here on the bottom. I really feel... Like, this could be somebody from work or school or something like that. Someone that's going to come in and really help you move past all of this. Okay? So let's look a little clearer here. Okay? Tell me a little bit more here about Six of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, okay, Lorelai here, you were in, again, this emotional state where you really didn't have your, your sea legs or your land legs, I guess I should say. And it was almost like you didn't know how to walk away. But she can't walk away, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse. My house is my castle, and it came out in reverse. Okay, so again, I feel like this could have been a 
marriage or a, you know, a bad situation with family members and you were not in a healthy situation. But the tide is turning. Okay, five of swords here, the lessons. Yeah, it is about you are not rooted in to have to stay anywhere where you cannot grow. Okay, you can move on to where you will grow at any time. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the past, okay? Like a bird, 22. I feel that you thought that this was the right path for you, okay? You really, again, with the Ten of Cups here as well, you really thought that this was the one, okay? The bluebird, okay? Home. They're showing me the stellar jays that come and nest in my backyard every year, right? You felt like this was home, that this was the right path. Ten of Cups. Yeah, but, okay, that ended pretty quickly. And it slowly started eating away and eating away and eating away at you. Tell me about the Empress here and the Hermit. Yeah, by the time you realize that you did not have any legs to stand on and that you could not swim away because the ocean was gone, you were stranded. Okay, but that was in the past. Tell me about this heartache with the Three of Cups, all right? Yeah, there is hope coming in. It's very healing. It could be a brand new job, okay, brand new house. Um, she's holding the seed that she's going to plant. But I love that it's the gardener, okay? <laughs> As I'm, home, I'm just laughing, I'm like, there's like this pause. For some of you, maybe it's somebody, right, that's helping out with some landscaping, okay? Or something, and you're like, oh my god the gardener okay <laughs> at my work is so attractive but it's healing okay tower in reverse under my umbrella in reverse okay it takes you out of your head out of your emotions and it kind of again it's like this like wow look at that sort of an energy right like stunning someone is stunning here okay but you don't feel very strong right the art of seduction like this person could very easy come in and sweep you off your feet all right and you're just gonna be like okay my head's spinning sweep away so tell me about the future of stability here. <laughs> yep, the sunny day. Somebody has put something away for the rainy day that did not come. All right, now you're going to have it for the sunny day. Okay, king of wands. Nope. All right. Thank you. Yeah, protective nest. Someone's going to help you set up this protective nest, okay? Get things settled. Get yourself moving, but you've got to get out of this emotional state, okay? Yeah, it's time to come out of hiding, finish the cycle, and start growing again, okay, flower spirit? It is time, right? Get out of those emotions. Come back to life. All right. Yeah. Look here. Can you hear me? Also, 28, another 10. How you complete the cycle, right, is that you realize that you're in control of where you go now. Okay? You're no longer stranded. So let's go ahead and see what the universe wants to add to this. Okay? Okay. 
page of pentacles, okay? You're going to have to take this little leap. You're kind of taking everything with you, right? The seed, <laughs> the gardening can, the gardener. <laughs> You're taking it all with you to take this leap of faith ahead. Nine of Cups. But know that this is about growing yourself. Okay, whoever's coming in, I'm not really seeing it as being whatever this love interest is, as being something that's long term. Maybe it will turn out for some of you to be that way. But right now your focus is on you. Okay, yeah, Knight of Swords. It is light as a feather, right? You can move forward as easy as pie, right? You just have to allow yourself. And I love this because bottom here is Page of Cups. Don't spend too much time lingering on this new love and get yourself all twisted up in tarot readings, okay? And tea leaves and everything, all right? The focus here is on your growth all right so let's get some advice then from spirit for moving forward okay yeah the challenge is not to repeat cycles because someone is coming in to tempt you okay we do have that energy okay there are red flags you could get yourself all obsessive again and then go through another cycle, all right? Yeah, this is time for you to have a rebirth, okay? Transmute, make changes. Um, Some of this journey is not in your control, okay? And just kind of go with it. Allow whatever blessings come in to come in for you, okay? <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands, okay? Impulsive. Yeah, you might be tempted. You might get impulsive. You might have a little fling. That's all right, okay? You can have some lusty lust in your life. Just don't let it get you all twisted up inside when you are trying to heal. All right. So let's go ahead. All right. We're going to pull one last oracle here from the Archetypes Wild Unknown deck. Okay. The eternal child. Yeah, you're trying to reclaim your power. You might be healing your inner child. Okay, you might be wor working through the solar plexus and the sacral energies. Okay. Let's, let's look at this. I think I just passed it. I did. Okay, the eternal child. This inner child is the child of joy, right? So where have you been lacking joy and not coloring outside the lines where you're being called into that? Okay, the eternal child wants to mix all rules and responsibilities and go beyond what others say is possible. It wants to return with plenty of friends to the land of the free, where divine wine and creativity pour from the earth and the sky. We all want to sip from the well of eternal youth and this makes the eternal child naturally popular, perhaps even famous. The eternal child glimmers it reminds us of what is possible, what is magical about this precious life. 
So yes, enjoy yourself, but do not lose yourself. Okay. So I hope this helps you, Taurus. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. Don't forget to click on that like. Okay. When you like, share, comment, and subscribe, it gets the message out to others and it is a beautiful gift to the channel. All right. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.